Welcome to the scholars learning classes. In this video, we will be studying about the cyclones. Now, how the cyclones are formed. See, now this is your land. Now, due to the heat, what happens? The air goes up, it rises up. And if I talk about the water that is present on the air, it also goes up and it forms the cloud. Now, as the clouds are formed, the water condenses in the clouds. Now, they also release the heat. They release the heat. Now, heat, air goes up due to the heat pressure and the air is also released or the heat is also released. Now, before cloud formation, water takes up heat from the atmosphere to change into vapors. Now, when water vapors changes back to the liquid from as rain drops, the heat is released from the atmosphere. Now, the heat released to the atmosphere warms the air. Now, this heat released to the atmosphere when the uh, water is being condensed, when the water vapors are being condensed in the clouds, the heat released to the atmosphere it warms the air. It warms the air around. Now the air tend to rise and cause a drop in pressure. The air tends to rise and causes a drop in pressure. Now more air rushes to the center of the storm. Now this cycle is repeated. Now the chain of events end up with the formation of a very low pressure system with a very high speed winds revolving around it. The chain of events ends up with the formation of a very low pressure system with very high speed winds. Revolving around it. Now, as the pressure is low, the wind speed is very high, as we have started. Now, in now it is a weather condition that we call the cyclone. Factors like wind speed, wind direction, temperature, and humidity contribute to the development of cyclone. Now, what are the factors that contribute to the cyclones? Is wind speed. Wind direction. Temperature and your humidity conditions. These contribute to the development of the cyclone. Now, what are the destructions that are caused by the cyclones? As the strong wind blows, it will uh, cause the soil erosion, then loss of life and property, and then uh, what it will do? Floods due to heavy rainfalls.
then it may damage the infrastructure like your communication systems houses roads etc now th these are the destructions that are caused by the cyclones and the other name of the cyclones are hurricane and in Japanese and Philippines, you call it as typhoons. Now, these are the other two names of the cyclone. I hope you have understood the cyclones and how the cyclone gets, uh, you know, are made up and how, what are the destructions that have been caused by the cyclones. If you have any doubt, you want to ask any questions. You can write it in the comment box. I will help you out with the doubts.